dude, we've got to mention this. So if you attended hot, lap, hot seat racing, you'll have seen the timing system was absolutely incredible. It was World Cup worthy. It probably is actually World Cup worthy timing. It is probably the best timing system you can get for mountain bike racing. It cost racing 25, or any time activity. It cost £25,000 and we had it for the day. So before we had the £25,000 timing system, we were considering how are we gonna, how are we going to time hot seat racing? And we went through a few iterations, being honest, trying to cut corners, trying to see if we could save some money. <laughs> so we started off with, we'd have one person at the top with a whistle and one at the bottom with a gong. <laughs> and stopwatches. Can you imagine? That would have been the, the biggest stopwatch. I mean, that would have 100%. That would have been. That would have been an L. I'm very pleased that it worked. Huge out. L. So then we were also like, right, do we buy our own again time system? But then we'd have to only yeah. have two timing chips, so someone would have to come down, swap it over. I mean, it's a great example. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been a shit. It's a great show, example mate. of doing things properly and making them work. I'm yeah, I am really glad that we, we did. Yeah. And big up to Craig. I, I only had that idea on the way home. I was just like. <laughs> Wow, the timing was really cool. And then I thought, oh, we were going to do it with a stopwatch and a gong. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I remember the conversation. I can't remember, like, <laughs> yeah, the gong, which is actually still stuck in a post, which a gong has been handmade oh. by, I, I struggle to remember the listener. I've, uh, annoyingly, I can't um, remember the listener because it's in my book. But many thanks to, I'll get a proper hmm. thanks when the gong finally arrives. Don't worry, the gong will be used. Because I think hot seat isn't <laughs> going anywhere. And also, no. Davey, no, I... thanks for allowing it to happen. You're the boss here. Thanks for allowing it to happen. Thanks for <laughs> signing off on the timing system. That was my only bit of apprehension was the fact that we paid for the timing. If it had gone down like a poo sandwich, I would have felt a little bit guilty, you know? So mm. thanks thanks for believing mm. in the idea, yeah, boss. Totally. I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> so you know how we... Talked Thanks, about hot, laps, well. hot seat race. I always call it hot laps, hot yeah. seat. And thank you, Sam, as well. Yeah. Absolute massive legend. Yeah. So I had an idea, right? So you know how we mm. just come up with these silly ideas and, you know, whatever, it somehow takes shape. So when I did a few months ago, I did that yeah. wings, got the hat on, wings for life run. Yeah. So it's all done through an app and you put headphones in and it talks you through the whole event. You've got music playing, you've got various notifications coming through. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if you did that, but like a mountain bike race, but you only get like one head, like one earphone, let's say, and it's like a pretty good, you know, it clips to your ear pretty good. Yeah. You're not going to just drop it. And all day you've got updates going on. So it's like, right, we've got hot seat racing. Make sure you're down at the bottom. Oh got my DJ goodness, playing, like a museum chat. But at Freedom Ride. Yeah. Almost like a silent Mate. disco, but you actually just, and everyone yeah. listens to the same thing. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? That is absolutely insane because some things could be pre-recorded. Exactly, which is which is what happens. So with the Wings for Life World Run, when I set up my team, which the podcast family, some of those, the, the companionship ran, I got to pre-record notifications. So I could say, right, well done. You're doing really good. You're 5K in. So it wouldn't be sick to be like, oh, it's, you know, whatever time, head over here. There's a competition happening at the... Goodyear stand, go win something. You could literally just do. That's a have fucking it all amazing out. idea. It's so sick. Because yeah, shout, shout out to the brands yeah. that did do competitions. Like there was a there's a stands competition that we're actually going to talk about on this episode. And there's a or, yeah. or maybe we already have already talked ended. about it on this episode. And there was a Goodyear uh, <laughs> Goodyear uh, hide and seek thing. Mate, that is a that is a cracking mm. idea. Yeah, I mean, I don't cool, know if it? there's like yeah, so it's... I don't know if there's such thing as like event headphones that are almost it's got to be like a really good one because you don't want it to be a silent you don't no. want people not talking because they're listening to the thing but you do want them maybe if it's around your neck and it's but playing it's out loud like so you can hear thing, it yeah. be so funny yeah that. and it's just because then imagine yeah because then imagine yeah. when it's like <laughs> John cool, Jones like... has just turned up everybody like yeah yeah, everyone doing oi oi on the counter three, and the whole fucking place is just shouting oi oi. What no a rad idea! So I love sick. the idea. The silent disco idea yeah. is a sick idea. Yeah. Did you enjoy this clip? If so, please like and subscribe. The full episode is available by hitting one of the links on the screen right now, or type the Ride Companion into your favorite podcast app. We've even put links in the show description for you. 
Cheers.